Hi everyone and welcome. We're going to talk about synchronous versus asynchronous communication in education. Here's the thing though, you're joining me, but I don't exactly know the day, the time, or even the place where you are. I know that I'm right here, but I have no idea where you are. In fact, I don't even know how many of you there are. But that's the thing about communication in the digital age. Students often enroll in online courses for three principal reasons. The first is convenience, which we know already. Second is also convenience. And the third is finally convenience. They want a convenient way to do their coursework. And a large component of that is asynchronous communication and asynchronous forms of learning. Now, asynchronous communication means that we're communicating not at the same time. Synchronous communication happens at the same time, not necessarily the same place. I could pick up a phone and call my family from across the country. I can engage in a video conference or I can talk with somebody face to face. When those exchanges happen in real time, that would be synchronous communication. Asynchronous communication, again, is not new. We've had cave paintings from ancient days, hieroglyphics, printed books, newspapers, and in the digital age, we have blogs, we have YouTube videos. Asynchronous communication is prevalent in society. So here's something for you to think about. Right now, we're spending some time together. You're with me. You're growing old with me, except for I'm not really growing old because I'm not really here right now. I'm recording this and you're growing old with a past form of myself, but I'm not really growing right now. I just am. I'm just in the internet space. But growing old together is really important in society. Social cultural events are a big part of growing together. We go to concerts, we go to sports games together, maybe conferences. During pandemics, we quarantine with family members. And this is all part of society. So thinking about education and the digital age, the digital age is unique because it allows us instant communication with a broad mass of people like we've never seen before. We've had books, books reach people, books can reach large audiences of people, but the internet can really permeate through space and time in a way that we have never seen before. So again, in this video, you are watching my past. And here's something to think about. I'm recording this right now, but maybe in the future, I'm going to think about this moment. In that case, future me is thinking about present me. And I don't even know how many future me's are thinking about present me right now. It could be one, it could be many. I know that at least the me who is going to do post-production on this video is going to think about me right now. So somebody, one iteration of me in the future is thinking about me right now. And again, it's strange to think about how you are growing older with me, but I'm not growing older with you. I'm just here. In fact, you're watching past me. You're watching a recording that I did some time ago, and you're spending time with that version of me. Real me is off doing something else. I don't even know what I'm doing right now as you're watching this. And that paradox is the state of education today. There still exists physical classrooms and traditional communal forms of lectures and classrooms and discussions and group assignments. But the state of education fundamentally is different than it was before. There's now room for this vast expanse of asynchronous digital communication that is both instant and massive in the amount of audience that it can reach. So consider this paradox as we go through the course content.